good evening. Tonight, America will decide who will become the next president. I'm one of your hosts, Kaylee Annette. And I'm Joe Smith Engelhart. Welcome to Skedline's coverage of the U.S. election. It's important to understand what policies are actually going to be talked about with this election. So that's where we're going to start off with our coverage tonight. So, um, one of the major platforms that Clinton is carrying is her comprehensive immigration reform to keep families together and hopefully bring in more hardworking and law-abiding immigrants. So, Joe, how does Trump feel about that? Uh, Trump's stances on immigrants have been widely contested throughout the election in all of the debates and any of his campaigns. One of the big topics that he's been talking about has been getting this Mexico-US wall built, which he's proposing that Mexico ends up paying for. And the Trump campaign's estimating that it's going to be a cost between 5 and $10 billion, which they expect that Mexico is going to be completely footing the bill for. And Trump's other big policy that's been very, very contested throughout this election is that with Muslim immigrants, he's looking at completely banning them from even entering into the US temporarily. That's huge, especially coming out of our Canadian, you know, headquarters. So another big part of Clinton's platform is that she's looking to increase um, the affordable health care. So this stems off of Obama's Affordable Health Care Act, but it's going to continue towards a universal health care goal. As we know, they don't have a universal health care in America currently, and right now health care is very expensive to up to thousands for a family of five. How does Trump feel about health care, Joe? Uh, Trump's campaign has been very, very against this universal health care idea. They think that it should be more of a corporatized thing where people are just paying it for, you know, out of pocket. Of course. And, you know, he's talking about just completely ditching every single aspect of Obamacare at this point. Wow. Another huge part of Clinton's platform is equal pay and women's rights. Um, we've seen this throughout her campaigning. She's clearly had the support of celebrities such as Lena Dunham, you know, Beyonce, Katy Perry, Lady Gaga. All of them have been coming forward and sharing their stories. But her herself, she will also be the first female president of the United States. We know Trump's had some controversy. What's he been saying? Uh, Trump's comments over the entirety of the election as far as women as a whole have been extremely negative. There was the Billy Bush video that came out where he ended up saying something extremely derogatory about women and you know at this point mm -hmm. when you look at the way that the United States is being run we can't just completely ditch women so I feel like he's gonna have a really hard time capturing that boat tonight. Of course. Well, polls are starting to close across the country, and Kentucky and Indiana are going to be closing first. We're going to come back live in another 15 minutes, and we will continue to tell you more about um, Clinton and Trump's policies and platforms. Would anything else to add, Joe? Uh, you know, some of the battleground states will be closing very, very soon, of course, including yes. Virginia, North Carolina, and Ohio, where we do have reporters that will also be filing coverage throughout the night. Perfect. We'll see you then.